Hi, my name is Vicki and I would like to share with you four possible barriers between you and an open heart in relationships. Now we think that we, if we find somebody that we want to fall in love with and, and heal our relationships, we think that's going to be easy. All we have to do is be with the right people. But did you know that there might be four gates between you and an open heart in a relationship? I'm going to break that down and then I'm going to share with you about the ways that you can fix that. Number one is your higher power in your relationship with your higher power. You think possibly that whatever your relationship is with higher power, if things didn't go your way in life, and let's be real, it just doesn't every minute of every day. If they don't go well, we have a tendency to blame our higher power. Why do we do that? Num number one is we know that our higher power has a forgiveness about it and it's a safe place where we're not going to be attacked for that. The second one would be our relationship with our parents. Now, nobody's parents are perfect. I'm not a perfect parent, but parents do the best they can with what they have. And our parents' role is not meant to answer all of our problems. Sometimes when there's a shadow in that relationship, if we felt that our parents didn't meet our needs, the benefit of that relationship is it gave you opportunity to see more of what you do want. And quite possibly, if you had a challenging relationship with your parents, it made you a better parent more than you realize. The next one is going to be peers. Now, in school, it's hard for everybody. We all have experiences where somebody maybe mocked us or there was some bullying, or if we tried to step out of, out of the normal, then there might have been somebody in your past that you felt was going to blame you. And so that fear may cause us to play small. So forgiving peers and some of the actions that they did in their growing stages might have an indicator of things that you can do. And the very last one is self. Now, it's just as important to heal ourselves and forgive ourselves as it is to heal and forgive these other relationships. In order to do so, we have the first thing that we have to do is we need to commit. Commit to healing and recognize that every relationship has purpose. Every experience has purpose. The second one is identify what you want to fix. And number three is to see the gift of each relationship. Usually that gift is because if there's somebody who has caused you a great deal of pain, their gift might have been to cause you a need to have forgiveness. And the fourth one is to just forgive, let it go and recognize that relationships have purpose and it's worth going out for the big call of having a better heart. Thank you so much and have a great day.